You need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. How about people under our protection? Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Merle's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right engine, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Pulling out all the stops, boobs, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paulie are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a fortuna, Tom. Attention, folks, attention. 
we'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. The you finest family in the city. For no doubt Thank you for mind. your patience. Who's done more? Terrence! You got an invite, too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be fireworks? Uh, Dottie, yes, I, um... Who is this, Terrence? I'm not sure we've been introduced. Uh, Dorothy, this is my wife, Barbara. Oh, sure you are! Heard all about you! Hmm. Yes. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. at the office. Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you... So remember, play it cool. I really when you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the... Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Look good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. These people, huh? Know where I can find the janitor? Back in a boat. Drunk as a skunk in the engine room. Same as always. Figures. Thanks.
Huh. You took your time. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, key's on the table there. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, hey, hey. thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
I'm trying to do! Could be worse, huh? We could be killing you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. Well, get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morello's killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. <laughs> <laughs> 